Okay, how strong do I think the Atlantis Leviathans are? Well, I think they'll be just about as strong as Sanguinera, right? And so, I mean, a top three contender type team, a team with a real chance to win at Worlds once they get there, if they can get there. When going through what everyone was saying about these rosters preseason, I was really surprised at where people were rating the Atlantis Leviathans. Yeah, they did not perform well at a single land last year, and, and that is a big concern for this core group going forward. But if we're just talking regular season performance, last year's Sanguine was one of the best in the league consistently. We already kind of know what expectations should be. This is the same-esque squad that we had in Sanguine last year. Obviously a little swap there in the solo lane and then Yarkor on down to, to the Hunter role. But that core 3v3, I think, is where this team can thrive in that early game. Panatom, Chinto, Rongyu, they're still gonna be carrying a lot of the weight here. They're bringing in Julio, who has been a very successful player throughout a lot of these Challenger Circuit level plays. Played for the Poppies. Last year, you got to see him on Belt Slap. Very successful solo laner. I'm excited to see how he comes in. But Yarkor's solo lane performance last year, specifically in the last half of the year, I think was what made Sanguine find the success they were able to. I think there were times where they weren't quite showing what we expected of them after phase one and yet Yarkor could single-handedly right the ship for them. I like the pieces that they have though. I think that this Leviathan's team can continue to push forward in a strong team fight meta. You, you gotta break free from some of those meta picks, start to throw your own twist on them. But I think realistically, this is a team that once you get over some of those early season growing pains, will maybe start to contest for a top four, potentially a top three spot later on in the year. But they got to make sure they're ready for those big tournament events, right? In the land, when they were playing in those big tournaments that mattered, that was when Sanguine choked. So this Leviathan's team has got to find a way to cure that. Last year at Worlds, I said, and I quote, Sanguine is talking a lot of smack, but they haven't quite been able to back it up. What's the difference between a villain and a clown? Villains win. <laughs>